My name is Ned Evett. I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, that's where I was born. I live in Los Angeles, California. Uh, like a lot of kids my age, you know, MTV turned on and I went and bought a guitar maybe that summer. I mowed lawns for a summer, saved up 30 bucks and bought a guitar in a pawn shop. What I learned very quickly is that you can be influenced by a lot of players, but ultimately you have to form your own style. And if you don't, you just wind up sounding like a copycat of somebody else. And a lot of players fall into that category. And I always have a personal philosophy that you honor them most by doing your own thing. And having met quite a few of my heroes uh, on guitar, I think that philosophy is correct. They, they would much rather have you do you than do them. Let me tell you a bit about my guitars. I play fretless guitars that have glass fingerboards, which is something that I came up with because I kept wearing out my wooden fingerboards with my aggressive rock and roll guitar playing. I took the concept even further recently with my Morningstar fretless guitar that's actually made of chunks of glass. And I'm working with Ibanez guitars. Ibanez were the first company that built me a fretless guitar that was, you know, qualitatively superior to anything I've ever played. And I have two of their guitars, but the one that's called the Null, which is my all black fretless guitar, it's a roasted maple neck and all this cool guitar stuff on it. It just, it has everything that I want. I love playing acoustic fretless guitar. I have for years. My main acoustic fretless is this guitar over here, which is called the Globro. And it's a resonator guitar with a fretless fingerboard. So it sort of sounds like an Indian Sarod mixed with a blues guitar. I'm on the new Joe Satriani record, which is called The Elephants of Mars, that just came out. Number four on iTunes for rock records. I wound up writing a bunch of new songs earlier this year after I did the G4 guitar experience in Las Vegas. There's more than enough material to record a record. I have this great new band that I'm working with in Los Angeles and I want to use them on the record and that's got a great vibe. I would love to be able to take that act into the studio and do something that also translates well to the stage. People that understand what it is like to be in a rock band, not just living in a city and playing, but being on the road, playing internationally. It's a really great thing to have in common. I have played some of the best venues in America, the Fillmore, all the Fox theaters, and I want to take this band into everyone. I feel that we would translate very well, you know, an audience that wants to like sit down, have a drink, and listen to some great rock and roll. Mm -hmm.